Uh, Calvin, on behalf of all of us, our, our hearts and prayers go out to you and your family. I know uh, you're speaking on behalf of the family today. Uh, what do you have to say right now? This has been an awful tragedy, and I can only imagine what you all are going through. Well, right now it's pretty difficult. It's hard. Um, my sister got shot overnight. We thought she was going to be getting better. Um, I think there was a broadcast earlier where I was. We were all hoping. We were all there at night. We stayed there till about one, two in the morning. Got home. Nobody got any sleep. I talked to all the other guys. I think my brother got maybe three hours of sleep at max. And next thing you know, we all get the call saying, "Hey, by the way, it, it didn't work out." Sorry about that. You can turn it off. If yeah. That's fine. It didn't. She didn't make it. And that's not the kind of phone call you were expecting. Everybody likes to keep their hope out. But uh, give me one sec, sorry. Let's see. Right. So when you got that phone call, what went through your mind? Honestly, I just want to go see where my mom was. Figure out if she's okay, how she taking the news. I know she got it way before I did. Because my dad, we live in different houses now. So he lives across the street from me. And he comes banging on my door because sleep was kind of escaping me. But getting the phone call, calling her up, she's not picking up. So I just decided to jump in the car and roll over, see exactly where she's at. Came to her house, uh, picked up my brother. Um, they all told me to meet them at the hospital eventually while I'm driving. And they said, well, do you want to go see her? <laughs> well, it's a weird question to ask. Like, well, she passed away. Well, do you want to go see her? And I said, well, yeah, one more time at least. And I don't fully know if that's the right call to make because once you pull the sheet back, it's not the same sister that you had just a day ago. So that, um, I know I'll thank myself for it later, but right now it's going to kick me in the butt. Uh, you try to stay strong for the family. My mom's there. She's crying and everything behind me and I don't know if I got that kind of strength there's no kind of training for that but I did it you know went through the motions we went back to the house to do a morning day and then just when you think everything's clear you got to wait for the daughter to get home and she just got home so I I don't know when we're gonna break the news but we're gonna have to it's got to happen today there's not really a waiting moment for that because we're all at the hospital she saw everything go down she saw the shooting she saw her mom go into shock, and that's not something you want for a nine-year-old. She was with her mom at the time? Yes. There was a woman next to her dead. So that's not something you can give to a kid. So I don't know the right words for it, and she just came home just as happy as can be, and that's heartbreaking. <laughs> like, you don't. She's like, oh, well, I got to get to school tomorrow, so I got this test, and I'm just thinking, like, man, this is... She's thinking about all this other stuff, and I'm... All this stuff processing through my mind, like, well, when are we going to drop the bomb? How do you drop the bomb? Who's going to do it? Nobody has the answer. There is no answer for it. What do you, uh, what do you say to the community here and you know, as a spokesperson and what happened? It's, it's so tragic. Honestly, for it to happen on Martin Luther King Day, that's wild to me. Like, it shouldn't happen on any day, but this day specifically, even in this place had a bounce house of all things. Everybody's coming out to bring their kids, grab a plate, you know. I feel about black heritage and everything that's great and then somebody unloads a gun that it's embarrassing and I tried talking to my stepdad about it and, well he said the exact same thing I did so I know I gotta be on the track somewhere I mean he knows more about it than I do but I, I don't know how to put that it's Martin Luther King Day you wouldn't expect someone to bring a fully loaded gun to a children's park you're getting, you're getting a reaction from the community, uh, support. I'm Tell getting a that. lot of phone calls that I'm doing my best to ignore. So, again, sorry to you guys as well, but just going through the motions. It's only been a day, and it's feels like a week. It's only been a day, and it feels like a week. I've had long days before, but there's nothing compared to it. I just lost a sister. That's my only sister on my blood side family. I keep thinking that I'm having one of them weird fever dreams. But this uh, is the longest fever dream I've ever had in my life. Tell us about Nikisha. What type of person was she? Describe she, her to everybody. I was a lot happier with her. Oh, that's a terrible thing to say. But with her, she always liked to play cards with me and things of that nature. She was always happy to see me. And I like to be a little bit of a loner, especially since I 
I uh, got back home. So I stayed most of myself. We stay in different parts of the city, just 15 minutes away, but I still don't go out for holidays and stuff. And if I don't, she'll call me and, hey man, where you at? Do you want to come over, grab a plate? Do you just want to come out? Hey, we're doing this. And on the one day I think I should have went out, I didn't. And that's gonna stick with me for a little bit. She's the happiest person in the world. She's my older sister, but it's kind of like, and I think the best way to describe her would be a very nice chihuahua, very hyper, very active, but man, she had spirit. The shortest sibling I got. For an older sister, she's my older and younger sister. Older and littler sister, rather. I don't, I don't know. It's weird to be talking about her like this is, I don't know. I feel like at this point she'd probably walk up here and like smack me in the back of the head like, hey, what are you talking about? And that's what I'm looking forward to, but I know it's not happening. How are y'all gonna try and process this with the family and, and as you move forward? I keep trying to talk to my mom and she's holding strong, but you can see the cracks and the cracks are what bother me. So I'm just hoping that she holds it together and that we're all around for as much support as possible because everybody's been flooding in from all parts of the city, different parts of the state just rolling over like, hey, I heard about this. You hear the phone calls. And I'm trying to figure out whether it's overwhelming or supportive. I, I don't know which it is, but I want to be next to my mom's side regardless of what happens. Like, that's my goal, that's my mission, that's my job right now. If you had to speak on behalf of her to the community and, and just tell this entire community uh, one final message about her, what would it be? That's a really good one. <laughs> Spend as much time as you can with your loved ones. Be careful about where they go because it's a dangerous world. You don't want to find out it's too late when it's too late. That's probably the best thing that she would tell you, is you don't want to find it's the last day when it's the last day. That's not how you want to find out things. I mean, hoping and praying is all good, that's fine, that's great, but it's better knowing that person right next to you is still right next to you. You don't want to find out in the hospital the next day. That's. It's crappy, especially for a mother. I couldn't imagine. There's not, I won't be able to imagine that. I will never be able to experience what my mother's going through, and that sucks. I don't know. That, that's what I think she'd say. This great human being, right? Great human being. She did me right. And God. If you've got kids out there trying to do all this extra stuff on the side, I don't look after them, make sure they're not hurting other people's kids. Because you just shot a grown woman in front of her child. And you, what do you what do you do about that? Are you I don't know. My mom doesn't have to worry about me going out and doing something like that. It won't happen.